Having got a solution, we now come on to step six, post-processing the FEA model. As you can see here, we've got the display shape of the torsion test and you can clearly see the movement that effectively means it behaves like a torque tube towards the front of the car. Where there's a large amount of rotation going on and very little displacement vertically. And that is again a function of the constraint case that we use, which makes the other half of the car think that it's being loaded in the opposite direction. Um, and again, you can see that a large amount of the movement comes from having this big hole in the top of the cockpit where rather inconveniently the driver needs to go. If it wasn't for that, we could be a lot, lot stiffer. So that's obviously the area we concentrate on in terms of stiffening the car to try and meet targets each season. <laughs>